welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to apply our Bluetooth shielding kit for the 2012 Mac Mini. This kit resolves Bluetooth interference issues from USB 3.0 devices. We've gathered our materials and are working on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the Mac Mini over. Rotate the bottom cover counterclockwise until the two white dots line up. Then, lift the cover off the Mini. Next, gently pull outward on the retention arms holding the memory in until the first module pops up. You can then remove the module. Repeat the process for the lower module. Next, use your Torx T6 screwdriver to loosen these three screws that hold the fan in place. Lift the fan up and over to the side. Then using a nylon pry tool, gently lift up on the wire end of the fan connector until it comes free. You can then set the fan aside. Next, remove the Torx T6 screw holding in the cowling. Then remove the cowling itself by rotating it out. Next, remove these three 2mm hex screws. If you don't have a hex wrench, you can use your Torx T8 instead. If you do, use a light touch to avoid stripping the screws. You can now remove these two Torx T8 screws. Gently lift the antenna grate up and slide it out off to the side. The airport cable is attached underneath this flap. Lift the flap and then gently lift the connector free. You can then set the antenna grate aside. Next, use your nylon pry tool to gently lift the SATA connectors up and out of their sockets. Then, remove this Torx T6 screw. Insert the logic board removal tool into these two holes, then gently pull the logic board back about a quarter of an inch. You now need to detach the IR sensor connector by gently lifting up on the wire end with your nylon pry tool until it comes free. Pull the logic board back a little further so you can detach the power supply cable. You can now remove the logic board entirely. Gently peel off the plastic tabs covering the wireless board. You'll want to cover this area with the new shielding. Remove the backing from the foil and adhere it to the board. You may then place the plastic tabs back into their places over the wireless module. You can now slide the logic board most of the way back into the Mini until you can reattach the power supply cable. Simply line up the connectors and slide them together. Push the board in the rest of the way and you can reattach the IR sensor cable. Just place the connector over the receptacle and press it down into place. Next, reconnect the SATA cables by lining up the connectors over the receptacles on the logic board and gently snapping them into place. Then, replace this Torx T6 screw that holds the logic board in place. Peel back the black plastic tab that covers the airport antenna connector, line the connector cable up with the connector on the board, and push the two together. You can slide the antenna grate back into place and reattach the two Torx T8 screws.
You can now reattach the three hex screws around the edge. If you're using your Torx T8 screwdriver to do this, you need to be extremely careful not to tighten them too hard or you'll strip the screws. Next, slide the cowling back into place and reattach the lower screw that holds it in. Then, reattach the fan connector the same way you did the IR cable and set the fan back into place. You can now secure the fan by tightening the three Torx T6 screws. Finally, you can replace the memory. The notch on the memory modules line up with the pins in the memory slots. Place the first module into the lower slot at about a 40 degree angle until it's fully seated. Then, push down on the outer edge to lock it into place. Repeat the process for the top module. Put the bottom cover onto the Mini, making sure that both white dots line up. Then, rotate the bottom cover clockwise until the black and white dots are aligned. You may now flip your Mini over, hook it back up, and turn it on.